So it feels like day 48 or 4,972 of Jim Harbaugh Watch 2022. This is becoming our Vietnam, but it finally looks like it's coming to a head. Wednesday morning, bright and early, 8 a.m. is going to be Harbaugh's interview. Plus, uh, we, we've talked about all, all day where uh, Michigan insiders have talked about Harbaugh's probably going to be gone if the Vikings offer him the job. Chris Ballas uh, over at uh, on three. Dot com, a Michigan insider. He put out a piece. Sources, Jim Harbaugh plans to sign with the Minnesota Vikings. Go blue. Here's what it said. Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh is headed to Minnesota for a Wednesday interview, but multiple sources, sources, say it's a formality. Harbaugh heads there planning to sign a deal to become the uh, NFL Vikings head coach. It's a weird way to phrase it. The, the best team in the world. Wow. Harbaugh was not in his office at Shem Beckler Hall this afternoon. Other sources told the Wolverine.com that while he didn't address the team, he did say some goodbyes and thank yous yesterday. So all of this sounds like a man who's not coming back. So it, it would be very awkward. Also, he gave his staff uh, a week's vacation uh, around National Signing Day. So that, that's interesting. But it would be really awkward. It's like, hey, you, you know, thank you for all the work that you've done. And you'll always have a special place in my heart. And then, oh, you see him Thursday. Yeah, great. But, yeah, I think all signs are pointing to the Vikings and Harbaugh uh, getting this thing together. According to ESPN, the Vikings concluded their second interview with Giants D.C. Patrick Graham on Tuesday. It went for nine hours. Nine hours. So that's in depth. And that does show that Patrick Graham is a legit uh, candidate for this head coaching job for the Vikings as well. Because even though it seems like 99% – they're on the one yard line and they just have to punch it in uh, by giving it to Marshawn Lynch as opposed to, I don't know, throwing it. Yeah. So even though we're at that stage, uh, I respect that the Vikings are still keeping options open with Kevin O'Connell, Raheem Morris, as well as I, I do think that uh, they really uh, enjoy Patrick Graham. And I, I do have a theory that their dream would be to hire Harbaugh with the contingency that he brings Graham on his staff, which I, I think Harbaugh would be fine with because wherever he's gone, we pointed this out earlier, Stanford, Niners, uh, Michigan, he's kept on a bunch of assistants from the previous regime. So I actually don't think that he would have a problem with having a guy as bright and young and, and motivated as Patrick Graham uh, to serve uh, assistant head coach or maybe if he brings Fangio on as D.C., uh, senior defensive assistant, some, some role like that because I, I think – Quasi loves Patrick Graham. I think the Wilfs are potentially sold on him now. So maybe this is a head coach in waiting situation because Harbaugh is 58. And I, I've, I have this weird feeling that if Jimmy Boy pops off a Super Bowl like, within the first three years, he gone. He gone. Even though I, I don't think that this man could relax down in Cabo and have margaritas. But no, no, maybe he'll be on to the next job. And for that Whatever. But uh, next up is Jim Harbaugh, whose interview is set to begin around 8 a.m. Central Time on Wednesday in Minnesota. And I don't think this will be a nine-hour version. I think this will be uh, a meet and greet. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, uh, so I haven't been in the corporate world in a long time. But when they have breakfast meetings, right, it's coffee, maybe some orange juice, a couple of assorted pastries. I feel like that's going to be the kind of meeting. They're just like shaking hands, signing ink. And I, I, I will say... By noon, the Vikings will have a decision one way or the other. Like, either Harbaugh leaves TCO Performance Center Bar and Grill, uh, Don, Don Mitchell, Fox 9, is like, Jim, where are you going? Or, yeah, it, it's going to happen. It's going to happen, man. So, get ready for all this. All this intensity. Who got it better than us? Nobody. And even though, yeah, Harbaugh, play defense, offense, run, run, pass, run, run, pass. But, actually do it good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll take that, and then yeah, like we said, there there are four Harbaugh's coming in on uh, the second Wednesday, and yeah, I think this thing gets wrapped up here tomorrow. I uh, yeah, I think by Wednesday we'll know who the next head coach of the Minnesota Fine Vikings is going to be. Either it's going to be Jim Harbaugh, or they could potentially scramble. They're like say it doesn't work out, you know, like we outlined earlier. Like what if Harbaugh just takes a giant deuce on the floor, or like. What if Harbaugh pulls a dog move and just like lift his lifts his leg to mark his territory? Oh, yeah, this building, it's mine now. And then like, no. And then the Vikings will quickly get on the horn. They'll hire Graham or O'Connell or Morris or unofficially, officially hire him. It's like, hey, our first choice all along. We knew it. We knew it. But I don't know. I, what was it, like seven days ago? 
I, I thought it was a 1% chance. And then uh, Quasey and Harbaugh had that uh, phone conversation on Saturday, and then it just snowballed from there. And we said at the time, sometimes one percenters come through. So, yeah, I, I think by when, by Wednesday, midday, we're going to know that Jim Harbaugh is going to be the next head coach of the Minnesota Fighting Vikings. But uh, your thoughts are our thoughts. Harbaugh watch 2022. I haven't worked this hard ever in my life. I've had a very easy life. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.